What's up guys? So today in this video, I'll show y'all how to reconfigure the ACM, AKA the radio in the fusion. All right, so I was doing a little bit of research a couple weeks ago and found out that you can reconfigure the radio in the fusion by using force scanning. Now, what that allows you to do is taking the regular speaker outputs on the radio and actually turn them into four volt pre outputs. So basically, you can put the RCAs on them and run them straight to your amp, which is the four channel or your subwoofers. Of course, you know, you can add a DSP to it too and run uh, the low frequency pass, whatever they call it, low level pass. So, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead, hook the force gain up to it, and uh, I'll meet y'all over there on the computer. All right, so we got the force gain hooked up. Um, go ahead and turn the ignition on. Make sure our uh, force gain module is in the high pass. And we're gonna connect the module. So, I'll ask this question as far as the ignition is on. Okay, I'll scan the vehicle. Yes, this is my vehicle. I actually just switched the medium. Medium speed, hit OK. Now all the modules are loaded up. And we can go to the computer chip. Gonna look for ACM just for the radio. ACM, I'm gonna hit the play button. Just gonna tell you that they're not held reliable. Mess anything up. Okay. First thing first, before you do anything, you wanna back it up by hitting save all. Pretty much just put ACM or whatever, call it and hit OK. I'm not going to do it because I could have done it. So, way how I refigured, well, reconfigurated a radio is right here, the 727-0101. So, the code, code that I put in is, uh, what's the, what the code that I put in? Uh, 5850 which is the 5 right here the third one is for the uh, internal amplifier I guess the switch so you can switch it over to uh, 4 volts for RCAs the 0 you can change that to a 9 if you want to uh, put the pins in as far as a dedicated subwoofer out and uh, of course the center channel if you want to add a center channel to the vehicle the D, I'm gonna actually switch that back to F because I do have the antenna on top of the roof. And the F is basically saying that uh that don't check for the um speaker outputs as far as the open loop. Um the eight eight is for the tweeter being present and the other one which is Eight that you want to put right here in the fourth character, change that zero to an eight. You want to make that a uh, you're making that an eight, it's basically saying that you uh opted for dedicated subwoofer pins in the back of the radio in the back of the ACM, which is aka the radio, and or the center channel, which is you know, you don't have to put that in, but for my case. Uh, I just had the full speakers, so I'm just gonna leave it at zero. That's pretty much like how it is. Now, um, if you're using a DSP, where it says 727-0102, the first two digit, the first two digits, you can put zero zero. That way, you won't have the 
you can disable the uh, equalizer for the radio so that way you won't have them functions you know you know, end up having somebody in the car and then and they're playing around with the equalization, throw your system off. So that's that. Um, other than that, once you're done putting in the codes, um, you hit write. They write it up for you, send it over to the system, and uh, that's pretty much it. You just cycle the key and be done with it. So if you want to copy the code, how I got it, you know, as far as uh, if you're just the ones with the basic system, the four channels. As far as the front speakers and the back speakers, the way how I set it up, you know, you just copy the code how I got it. Um, you, know, uh, you don't have to really worry about the pins in the back. So like I said, just cut the speaker wires and the, those will be your, like your four volts pre-out for your amplifiers. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, pop the uh, pin in for the uh, uh, amplifier enabler in the back of the uh, radio so let's go ahead and write this up so right what's it say you know you need correct changes body body and then he'll reliable so you hit yes system will write it up of course the system will be set so you just cycle the key turn it off of course, you hear your time in your uh, in your dash cluster. Everything just be setting. It'll go back to normal after a while. All right, once you turn everything back on, everything pretty much is booted back up. As far as the um, radio, do we want to hit the stop sign? Go back to the vehicle. We want to disconnect. That's it. Close this out. I'm going to switch out back to the camera. Alright, so on the back of the radio harness, which is this one, um, I'm going to put it in the wire that's right here. Pin 7. I guess with the stock radio already comes with it since it's got uh, the antenna amplifier wire so you just tap it into that and it's uh, 6 volts so a relay won't work hopefully if you have a DSP or amplifier that does like 6 volts or multiple uh, remote turn on voltage it'll be good but other than that you can get a, uh, a, a pack PAC TR4 and that uh, definitely do something for it. Other than that, like I said, you know, got the ends for the RCAs. I think my last video when I was putting the amp in, I, um, I had the, uh, the line, the high line converters on it. So just pop those off and uh, put these ends on it. And uh, you pretty much got the little 4 volt pre output. Next thing we'll do is connect it to those directly to that. Alright, so if you're putting in the center channel speaker, you want to put the negative pin where the, uh, the ground wire, like I said, for the amp turn on. In between the brown wire and the brown yellow wire, that's pin 8. Pin 20 is right above it. That's for the positive. And that's for the center channel. Now, for. Alright, so this is the other harness where you'll do your, uh, your sub tap in. So, right here where it says 1 at the bottom. I don't know if I can get a good angle of that. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's the fourth pin. That's where you drop in your positive for the uh, dedicated channel for the sub. Then you got, uh, I think it's 13. But anyway, over top of the uh, pin four is 17. And uh, 
pretty much drop it in right there for the negative. So, go ahead and button everything back up. And test bump it real quick. And now, I'll let you know. Radio. So, basically, it's just extended it. Put the wires up here. Basically, mounted it behind the screen. Um, next, we're going to move to the, uh, the pack TR4. That way we can convert that uh, six volt that's coming from the radio to a uh, 12 volt source. So we can turn the amp on. So basically, um, the way how that operates is when you unlock the doors, it pretty much turns the amp on. Uh, you wait probably like 30 seconds, it turns it back off. Um, you open the door, it cuts back on. Uh, that way, you know, stick the key in, get your time, or same thing when you turn your uh, light switch on and uh, that's pretty much it so once we get that tied in and uh working and everything everything should function as normal like factory so let's go ahead and stick this back in and uh button everything back up and uh move on to that step all right give me a shot how it looks put the screen back in So this is how the module looks. You can see this, this wire right here, the blue one's on the amp. These three we're gonna connect to the uh, power source for the radio. Then I extend it, we made the extensions full. So, the yellow is the constant, black is the ground, the green is the uh, sensor. And then uh, the sensor six volts from the radio. All right, so the blue is for the amp. One straight on the amp. The green, we're gonna use as the, uh, the trigger wire, like I said, on the back of the radio, which is the brown one, pin seven. Uh, the ground, I ground that to the, uh, to the right ground coming off the radio. And of course, the constant 12 volt, that's coming from the constant 12 volt radio. So, I'll go ahead and tie that in. All right, one, this is how it looks. It ain't tied in. Like I said, it's going back to the amp. It's the sensor wire for the six volt. It's the 12 volt constant coming from the radio and the ground where the radio is at. So I'm gonna go ahead and test the tape it up and uh, see what it does. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the unlock button, make sure everything's working. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. All right, so. Hit the unlock button, the amp is on, so turn back off, back on again. Um, let me see. So that's pretty much it. So the TR4 is working. Uh, you see that it switches back off because there's no activity going on in the car. Now, when I stick it back in the ignition, um, the TR4 will activate it again, and pretty much that'll be it. Oh, by the doors open, please stick the key in the ignition. And come through the speakers. Alright, so everything's in. It's working. Um. So now whenever you shut the radio off, you ain't gotta worry about it. Worry about your amp staying on or, you know, switching it off and on with the ignition. Everything's ran through here, through the factory radio. And that's pretty much it. So um, now we know the six volts transferred over to the TR4. TR4 is sending 12 volts to the amplifiers. And that's pretty much it. So this video was helpful for y'all. You know, give a thumbs up, click subscribe. Uh, like I said, you can catch me on Facebook. I leave all my information down bottom. Uh, for the TR4 that I put in for the amplifier, um, that be in the description too, along with the, uh, the pin wire to uh, tap into in the back. Um, but I, was, I guess that's pretty much it. So 
till then, catch out in another video. Peace.